Well, I'd say good evening and welcome to the Dragon Blogger team, but I see the camera is kind of out, so let me correct that before you guys real quick. Uh, I'm not sure why my camera is not showing you guys. Let's hopefully that picks up. All right, there we go, guys. I'm not sure what just happened there, but hey, we had a camera outage and we fixed it that quick. All right, guys, welcome to the Dragon Blogger stream. Of course, I'm James, your host tonight with no toast. Uh, we're going to pop over here. We're going to show you guys our first product up. This is from Yunzi. Yunzi AL71, 68% mechanical keyboard. Now, this is a fill video. The Dragon Bloggers. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm showcasing this Yunzi hey, Darthian, what's up, buddy? gaming keyboard. This is the retail this box so packaging. Low. This is a nice photo of the actual keyboard. Let's open it up and check it out. Here's everything that comes in the package. Starting off, we have a guide to show you how you can connect your keyboard and all the different functions that the keyboard has built into it for all the lighting effects. comes in a couple different languages. Also, we have a double-sided keycap puller and switch puller. Very convenient. Have it all in one device. We have a six-foot USB-A to USB-C connector. You want to hardwire a keyboard to your computer or laptop, and it's also used for charging because it has a built-in battery. We have two extra switches here, practically silent switches here. We also have a set of additional keycaps to change the color scheme. Last but not least, here's the keyboard itself. Comes with a very nice plastic cover if you want to keep the dust off when you're not using it. Here's the keyboard itself. It's a very nice design. It comes with the black keys, the white keys, and the peach colored keys. If you listen, they're virtually silent. I've never typed on such a quiet keyboard before. Usually the space part is the loudest. I can't even hear it. Weighs just over two pounds. It's a very solid design. On the back side, we have some rubber feet here to keep it stabilized. On the top here, you can see your selector if you want to connect with Bluetooth or if you want to use the hardwire connection or if you want to use the 2.4 gigahertz dongle that is also embedded inside the keyboard right there to plug into your Mac or PC. Nice spot to keep it there. That's your USB-C connection to connect your USB cable. And you also have your flipper switch in case you are connecting it to a Mac or if you're going to go to a Windows PC. Also has some RGB lighting on the side here. It does have a nice little angle to it. Let me show you real quick how simple and easy it is to pull out the keycaps and pull out the switches in case you'd like to replace them or clean them. Take your keycap puller, spread the arms on that, hover over the key you want to pull out, get underneath the key, pull it straight out. And when you want to pull out a switch to clean or replace, take your switch puller, go on the north and south sides of the switch, pinch it very firmly, give it a little wiggle, pull it straight out, switch this out for a different switch, or just clean under it. Again, these are virtually silent. If you want to replace it, take note of the contacts on the bottom of the switch, line them up with the keyboard, place it in the slot, it down and you're in replacing the keycap just line it right up again push it on and you're good to go just like that it's that easy now this is of course fully keyboard and you can swap out the keycaps they do give you guys some extras to change out with that it does come with the pullers and everything in between to make it more customizable to your liking now you can either use it with the plug-in, of course, the USB-C, or you can actually do the Bluetooth or connectability. It does have RGB, of course, right there with the backlit RGB. It's a beautiful little keyboard with multiple settings and a very silent key style. Uh, this is going to do well for a lot of people. It's going to actually be a decently priced point style of device. Definitely worth checking out the Yunzi AL71 Quiet Mechanical Keyboard. Now we also have the UNZ C68 wireless keyboard that we're going to show you guys next. This is actually a really cool. Hey y'all, it's Deer. I'm going to be unboxing and showing you guys this super cute keyboard. I'm really excited because it's going to match my Hello Kitty chair. <laughs> it's not specifically Hello Kitty, but it is a pink kitty cat keyboard and I'm really excited. And it looks like the keys are going to be nice and satisfying too. So let me go ahead. The packaging is so cute. Look at the little C. It has a little cat in there. All right. Oh, they have like a little, oh, cute. A little mouse pad with it, which is so cute because that matched the, the vibes. The vibes. Okay. So here for it. Nice. So then we got all of our accessories. Our little cables. Little, little keys. Oh, 
minuscule packaging. She could love that. It's so cute. Oh it's actually God. super cool. I am obsessed with it. It's so look at the little. All right, so let's take a look. So it's like got like almost like a silicone kind of feel down here. I don't know what this is made of, but it's like really nice and soft to the touch. It's got some weight to it. Like this is a this is a really hefty keyboard. And then you've got your switches down there. It's Bluetooth, which that's super awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, the little stands are little beads. They have little beads. Oh, that's so that's cute. That's super cool. Okay, so that's your plug if you need to plug it in. I assume that it would charge and all that good stuff if it's Bluetooth, but. All right, let's try the, the initial typing test. Oh. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, 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 okay. So. Let's see. I think we're gonna have instructions in here. It is so cute. The keys feel like they've got like a some weight to them. So they're really satisfying to hit. Push out of the way. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with this. This is adorable. I love that. Okay. So let's see here. The quick start guide, wireless connection, all that good stuff or USB cable connection. Okay, so it comes with a wireless receiver and with a USB connection. So let me, oh, and here's the little tool so that we can replace keys. Oh, nice, that's so pretty. All right, let's see if we can get her to type. You do smell goof. <laughs> it's so satisfying to type on. It sounds so satisfying and it feels really sad. Very kind of this is it. This is how it I'm I'm very passionate about this right now. I think this is so freaking cool. This is how this connected to this. I literally, all I did was switch it to Bluetooth. Okay, so all in all, super, super cool. Look at that, guys. Very functional, very cool little uh, novelty-style keyboard. Yunzi did a really great job with this cat vibe, guys. The kitty keyboard is just going to be excellent for most of you. Now, we're going to pop over here. We're going to move to our next product up. This is going to be a little show and tell, guys. This is the Log Rotate. Uh, this is their moon lamp. This is, of course, a very cool little moon lamp. Uh, it's going to have like 16 color LEDs, and it's going to, of course, have a little stand. The stand is just this little wooden stand right here. Now, this is what it looks like. This is, of course, the moon itself. You guys see it just powered off with that. Uh, now it's changing colors because I'm moving it closer to you. But that's what it's going to do. You guys are going to sit there. It is rechargeable, and it does light up. It has a remote control. This remote control can actually make it just standardized colors if you really want to uh, with that, of course, or change it out depending on how the colorations you want it to go. Super bright, super vibrant, or not, that's up to you. The cool part is, guys, it's like a 4.8 inch style moon uh, for you with multicolors and variations, but they also offer another version and variation as well. Uh, this is going to be more like your uh, big planet, of course, with that. Uh, still changes out the colors uh, just by a swap of the keyboard or the, the actual remote control. We can actually hit strobes where it's going to strobe through the lighting as well. Uh, we can actually do fade with that. Uh, we can even do smooth transitions or even flashing mode uh, with that. So, guys, both of these, you can have them both going at the same time, same remote. You don't need two remotes. This is kind of cool. The moon one is what we're showing you guys tonight. Uh, very cool little objects. I love these. has a stand. Uh, it does come with the cable. The cable, of course, is a little USB uh, cable, guys, so you will need that little USB cable. Uh, the other side of the cable is round, uh, and they can be powered on, stay permanently powered up if you guys want to, 
or you guys can actually do a uh, recharging battery not worry about it right there we actually shut it down uh, if i turn it back on it comes back up if i adjust or dim the lighting i can adjust and dim the lighting to my liking uh, it's that simple there's also a timer where i can set it up to 15 minutes uh 30 minutes 45 minutes and 60 minutes with these uh two different variations and versions we're showing you guys the moon uh right there of course uh, very cool look things. I love these. These are actually really really phenomenal I love the way these actually work out uh, because they are bright and vibrant I mean who would not want a little decoration like this in their your office space or their kids bedroom uh, Great little piece very very beautiful novelty of course from log rotate store. Uh, I got it's great little pieces uh, This of course is the moon lamp 16 color LED 3d printed uh, style moonlight for you very beautiful and of course they have the other variations with that now they also have larger ones there's actually a 10 inch version uh which would be kind of cool i'd love to have my hands on the 10 inch version uh the 10 inch version of course would be so much bigger uh which would be phenomenal so guys need some little decorative pieces right here guys these little moon lamps are beautiful i like these these are really cool check these out you can't, you can't go wrong with that a uh, really amazing little piece right there now, with that, of course, we're going to show you guys the, we're going to show you guys that again, of course, we'll definitely circle back to that. We're going to move over to this Bluetooth little uh, sound bar. This little Bluetooth sound bar is actually kind of cool. This is from Elscon. This is, of course, the Elscon EC17. LED, Bluetooth, and rechargeable. Guys, we'll pull it out. You're going to have, of course, a sound bar that can be paired up and light up and recharge. So. We will literally just power this on. Let me grab the power button. Okay, come on. Power up. There we go. Bluetooth mode. So Bluetooth mode is now on, and if I hit the button, it's going to light up with that bright, vibrant LED coloring on the front. Now pair that, of course, with that little moon lamp right there, and it's going to look amazing in your room. Now, this can be used with the TF card reader, USB-C, or Bluetooth connectability. You can actually change the lighting patterns, of course, with it as well. Uh, right there is another really cool piece. Uh, look at that lighting. I mean, that is phenomenal for a Bluetooth soundbar. Now, this little Bluetooth soundbar does actually do very, very well. Uh, it's nice, convenient. It's got some very cool uh, uh, high-res speakers built in, of course. So you do have the high-res speakers. They are 10-watt uh, output of this Bluetooth speaker uh, soundbar, but look at that coloration. It's phenomenal. I love how it changes the colors. Um, just look at it. Super cool. Uh, if you guys need, of course, a nice little soundbar, this is actually amazing. It does come with the uh, charging cable. That's about it. Now, USB-C, guys, it's all it takes, guys. USB-C, right? has all the buttons on top. You have your volumes up and down. You have your Bluetooth connectability. Uh, if I want to, I can actually change out the, P uh, the modes like TF card reader and stuff. Uh, your little button right here, of course, is also you're gonna be your power button. So if I wanna turn it off, literally hold that button down and it powers down with that. Really cool. This is nice. The, I, it's bright. Now let's be honest, this thing is super bright. We're gonna turn it back on. Right there. Super bright and vibrant. I love this. You guys need a sound bar? This is actually really cool. I love this little sound bar. Now, I believe if I could pop over here, I might actually have a video of this. Let's get you guys a video of this. See if I can find the video. And you guys can see a video too. I have it on, on hand, but I want to show you guys a little video with this as well. Let's see here. Come on, close that. Oh, no. Hold on, guys. There you guys go. And pop around with the different colorations and variations with this. Now, this is a cool little piece that actually does work with, of course, a TF card reader and is actually wireless. You can actually plug it in with the USB C if you want to. Now, this thing does sound rather good, and we're going to give you guys a little sound Ooh. test right now off of the EC7. With that, you 
got a nice sound quality and beautiful coloration. So if you need a wireless Bluetooth, so if you guys need a Bluetooth sound bar, guys, right there from Elscon, the EC17 10 watt high res style device, uh, USB C connected style, or of course TF card reader, your micro card reader. Very cool, very beautiful, and of course that multicoloration light set. Can't go wrong with that. You really can't. Really cool piece. And of course, guys, don't forget those moons I just showed you. Those are even cooler. I love these moons. Uh, these moons are actually just sitting here going off uh, colorways right here. Let's show you guys that. Right there. Different colors, different patterns going off perfectly well. I love these things. Uh, both of those great options, really cool pieces for you. Now, of course, maybe you guys want to power one of these power stations up. Well, you can actually you can power one of these pieces up with the power station if you want. Phil, what's up, buddy? What's up, Phil? What's Phil doing here, huh, Phil? Look at the Jackery Explorer 1000 Plus kit, guys. This kit yeah, is I'm actually a really here, cool dude. kit. I'm going to try and make it through a string. E1000 battery. That's going to give you guys a total of 2,528 watt hours of power with this power station. Now to link that up, you're going to need this bright orange cable to connect it up, of course, with that. And once you pair it up, now you can, of course, extend this out and add four more of these batteries if you want. The battery does, of course, have a nice little display to show you guys the battery charge. Jackery uh, power, station, Jack has power stations. I was using one just during that little clip. Of that. You guys see the green lights on. So it is drawing a little bit of power out of that. Now you do have two USB-A ports that is 18 watts max and two USB-C ports at 100 watts max. You still have, the, of course, this beautiful little lighting that does go into different brightnesses and, of course, SOS pattern. Now, this does work with, of course, the Explorer app, and you can actually connect up the Jackery app to this and uh, turn all these switches on and off. You also have a 12-volt 10 amp uh, DC plug right here as well, so you can run a lot of different stuff. Now, this does have multiple BMSs and temperature sensors inside yeah, this. Yeah, it tells and the cool you BMS. You can have this up and charged in under two hours for the power station. Oh, and of course, it's going to be a little bit now. more if you have the battery connected with that. Now, you can actually pair this up with a couple solar panels and be up and charged and going as shadowy. well with that if you really wanted. Now, of course, that's going to be a, uh, multiple solar panels. That'll be like four of the 100-watt solar panels. It'll be charged in about four and a half hours. If you use a cigarette lighter, of course, it's going to be about seven hours to do that. Now, running this, you'll be able to run like 1150 watt window AC for about two hours with this kit. Uh, you'll be able to run a microwave for a couple hours as well. This is going to be a great little all around power station and, of course, very expandable uh, if you guys need the Jackery Explorer 1000 Plus kit. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. Definitely recommend, guys, Jackery Explorer power stations. You can't go wrong with the Jackery. Uh, and that's great price, actually. Great, great price. Now we're going to show you guys the Bug MD No Buzz Zone Bug Killer. The Bug MD No Buzz UV Bug Trap or Insect Trap. It's a very cool little portable device. What this does is this is going to work with the carousel is not working for some reason. Pad on the back or a sticky tab that's going to catch those instead of having those lad zaps. What you will do is literally plug it into, of course, a little plug source and it's going to power on. You guys are going to see back here. Of course, that nice black or bluish orange. I know it's kind of hard, but that's what we're showing you guys right there. That's going to attract the bugs. And of course, it's going to stick to this back tab. And when you are done getting all those bugs stuck to it, you'll literally slide this out, get a new one, and put it back on. The Bug MD No More Buzz Zone UV Bug Trap might be the one for you and for your house. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. So right there, great little option. But we also have, of course, the Clarifin Air ionizer James here today we're taking a look at the Clarifion air ionizer now this is a one-piece kit and it does do well uh, it's a nice little portable piece that's gonna fit in most or small rooms now what you'll do is you'll take that and you'll plug it in of course into a wall plug and you'll turn that wall plug on and once it comes on it will actually in a few minutes guys it's gonna start powering up and start working you guys will see that blue light in there hopefully it now indicates it's working what this is gonna do is it's gonna help uh, deodorize or help clean up that air in the smaller rooms like uh, pulling out some dust dander and stuff like that to eliminate that and give you a little bit fresher yeah, air so tonight. if you guys need the clarifion air ionizer uh -huh. of course it's nice and portable and perfect size for any wall Hold socket on. great little item for you and for your house so great 
pieces right there, of course. Now we're going to show you guys these mag time, uh, magnetic charging cables. Really cool cables. Uh, the mag time cables are actually amazing. It look like pieces. this and you get tired of picking up or untangling all the cables just to get to the one cable that you really need at that point. Yes. Well, that I got the item with. for you. That item is the MagTame iPhone charging cable. This is a USB to lightning cable. Now, this is going to allow, of course, MFI certification. It's going to allow 480 giga, or megabytes of transfer rate. It comes like this. When you need it, you literally just uncoil it. Uh, it's going to have a light, uh, lightning cable for one end and a USB on the other. Uh, it's going to allow, of course, for that 2.4 amp charging technology through your iPhones or your X Maxes or anything else that takes it, like your iPods and AirPods. When you're done, you'll just coil it back up, let it magnetically stick. Now, depending on the size of loop you want, uh, you just tighten it or loosen it to however you really want, and then it's going to magnetically stick just like that. Now, of course, if you uh, have the ends on their own proper place, it's not going to magnetically stick on the plastic piece. So do know that these plastic sections are not magnetic, so you do have to make sure it's like a little connected right there. But this is going to clean up and tidy up those areas for you in those drawers that become a mess. So Mag Team's got you covered, guys, with this variation. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. Really, really cool piece right there, guys. If you need a little uh, cable that's going to help pick it up and clean up your area, definitely check that one out. Now, of course, that's USB-C. We're going to show you guys the next version as well right here. This is USB-C to USB-C. This is also a 60-watt charging cable from MagTame. The drawer look like this, and you get tired of picking up or untangling all the cables just to get to the one cable that you really need at that point. I do. Well, I, really I do. got the item for you. That cable happens to be the MagTain USB-C to C cable. Now, this is a magnetic cable with 60 watts of PD charging technology built in. Guys, this is the cable right here in black and silver coloration, and it magnetically coils in on itself to clean itself when you need it. You untangle it. Uh, once you're there, you guys got the C2C -C cable that's going to allow 480 megabytes of transfer rate. Uh, that's transferring one gig files in seconds with no problem. When you're done or you're done charging your uh, product, coil the product back up. Now you guys can do as tight as you want or as loose as you want. It's going to magnetically stick onto itself just like that. Now I kind of like a more of a loose coil, so I kind of do this. Uh, that way it's a yes. little flatter Thank when I put it follow. away. But if that. you guys want to tidy up those cables in that drawer, MagTame's got you covered, guys, with this version. They also So with that, guys, great little cable, but you may need a charging brick to power it off of. And let's show you guys the Ugreen 65. Today we are taking a look at two different chargers from Ugreen. The 45-watt charger and the 65-watt charger. So let me... Take the camera down, flip it around so we can take a deeper look at the both of them. So first we have the 65 watt charger. Here it is. Now of course this is their GAN technology. It is a three port plug. It has USB-A and two USB-Cs. Now that 65 watts will be off the top port only. If you use multiple plugs, you will have to divide that power up. Now this is a nice portable size that can be pretty much taken wherever you really want. Uh, the prongs do fold up inside itself so you don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, again, technology means it's going to charge even faster than most and pair it up with that magnetic cable and you have the perfect little piece. Uh, I'm going to tell you, Ugreen makes some great little power bricks that works phenomenally, phenomenally well. Uh, but why not get yourself a projector? Today like we're taking this a look one. at a new. Now this, of course, is the Anchor Nebula projector. This is a hundred ANSI lumen brightness. Uh, this little projector is actually really, really amazingly well done because it is a soda can sized style projector. Now with it, of course, it is an Android TV. It does have four hour battery life of it. Uh, like I said, size of a soda can could be probably put in your pocket if you really wanted. It can also be used as just a Bluetooth speaker. Now, Android 7.1 is going to give you access to approximately 4,000 to 5,000 different apps and movies on hand. Now, you'll be able to play about a 100-inch screen with this one. Uh, and since it is portable, you can play it inside, outside, wherever you really want with that. And it has control from an app, so you can actually download the app and control it from there. Or use the actual uh, controller that does come with it. Now, it does have an HDMI input, guys, for you. It does have that HDMI input, so you could connect up a smart plug or even your gaming consoles with this. Now, it is 100 ANSI lumens brightness, 4,000 to 1 contrast ratio, one 5-watt speaker, of course, as well. 
Now, 30,000 hours of lamp life with this device, it's gonna last about six hours a day for the next 10 years with that. That's actually a good deal. Now, the one thing I will tell you though, guys, is this is literally um, 480 uh, resolution, so 80, 854 by 480, but it is 100 ANSI lumen brightness. Now, it does have a quad core A7 smartphone chipset in it, Andrino 304. Uh, GPU and it's got two gigabyte or one gigabyte DDR, eight gigabytes of hard drive space inside this, and dual Wi-Fi connectivity, 5G and 2.4. It also has, of course, Bluetooth speaker mode for you and a Bluetooth connectivity where you can pair it up. Bluetooth 4.0 is going to actually do well for you when you're actually connected to this. Uh, take it with, use it where you need the Anchor Nebula projector. Now we're also going to show you guys the 1080p version. This is going to be the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3. Now the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3 is a 1080p projector. Uh, same, pretty much same size as what okay, we we'll take a look at the you. Anchor Nebula. Now the 1080p uh, projector, we're going to show you guys, and we're going to jump forward a little. We're going to show you guys it like plain. This is a really cool one because the Capsule 3 is 1080p resolution. It only has a ten, two and a half hour battery life, but this one will do a 120 inch screen. Now, still has Android TV, but the Android TV in this one's a step up from the other. It has Android TV 11, so you have access to even more apps and, of course, movies on hand. Now, still has a hard drive, GPU, and all of the other cool stuff. It is a D, uh, a ALP style laser, advanced laser projector. It is 1080p. It does have IE or IEA, which is Intelligent uh, e Environmental Adaptation for your Keystone Correction, Screen Fit, Autofocus, and of course, iDart. Now, it does have 8 watt speaker inside this, and of course, uh, will set up in under three seconds with that DLP laser. This thing is an amazing, amazing portable projector. This is one of those things that I always say, hey, you should check one of these out. Now, this is, of course, costs a little more than the other one, um, but well worth it. Right here, we're doing a colorway test, guys. You can see how bright and vibrant this is. This projector will put out some color and do well for you. Uh, you can put it pretty much anywhere. Now, we did do a little speaker test right Free here music. for you. We're going to play this so you guys can actually hear the speakers. Now, I'm going to back it off a little, guys, right here until the music starts going. So like that, you got a great, beautiful projection uh, options. Now, we're going to show you guys the 4K as well from the... What's going on guys, Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look at easily my favorite projector. This is the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. This is a true native 4K projector with Android 10.0 built in and honestly I just can't talk about how good this is. And I mean we all know we're not supposed to stare at the sun but at what point do we start making an exception for Anchor products because this is just one of the most beautiful pieces of technology I've ever owned. I mean, honestly, at what point do we just start telling Anchor that they need to chill out and just relax and stop making the world's best yeah, products? Yeah, tell them to chill And out, like man. I said before, a true Android 10.0 TV with native 4K, a ton of built-in apps, voice assistant, HDR10, autofocus, auto keystone correction, a remote that's super simple to use, an operating system that's super even simpler to use. I mean, come on, really? But I can talk about specs all day and you guys would not care. So let's just go ahead and jump into the review of this. Let's take a look at how good this looks because like I said before, this looks better than my TV. All right, so like I said before, Android 10.0, so you're never going to have a shortage of apps. You're going to be able to watch all of your favorite TV shows, sports, movies with the 7,000 plus apps that are built into Android TV OS. And a pro tip, download Steam Link if you have a gaming computer because you're going to be able to play games at true 4K with this over Steam Link. So just kind of going through the menu, you guys can see that everything is super responsive. There is absolutely zero lag whenever you're going through this. Now my TV itself is a Sony TV and it also has Android 10.0 built into it and its processor isn't as fast as the processor built into the Nebula nope. 4K. And honestly, let's just be real here. If I didn't tell you guys that this was a projector, you guys would probably assume this is a TV because sometimes I honestly forget it is a projector because it looks so dang good. Now of course you're going to have your standard Android TV OS. Now with that guys, you get the OS, you can play video videos you can play movies you can do whatever you want nice bright and vibrant these projectors are amazing so if you guys need one check one of those out now we're going to talk about the anchor work m650 lavalier mic guys this is a really cool piece 
comes in this case, has a charging case. Of course, you guys will uh, pull it open. You guys will see a little lighting, show you guys the charger right inside. You'll be greeted with, of course, two lavalier microphones and the receiver. The receiver is, of course, portable. It can be actually used with the USB-C or it can be used with one of these two adapters. You have a lightning cable plug and you have a USB-C plug. That's going to allow you to connect it up to pretty much whatever phone that you want to connect it up to and use it that way. So let's say you guys want to use your Samsung phones and connect up a microphone. That's all it takes to pair it up. You can use this on your PCs as well. Now the microphones does have built in noise canceling with this, of course. Uh, it has a uh, touch screen activation and it comes with the two microphones. I have them actually set up as two different colors for you guys, gold and green. We're going to show you guys the green. Now the green has this little clip. The clip is of course can clip to your clothes or you can pop it up and magnetically stick it for you as well. That's kind of cool. On the side it has a mute button. You'll tap that and it'll go red when it wants to mute the microphone. Untap it, you're good to go. can put a windsock on it as well with that. These are amazing microphones. I love the detail and of course how well these microphones work. Uh, like I said, the controller is nice, bright, and vibrant. It can actually be scrolled through uh, to adjust it if you guys want to adjust some settings uh, on hand. Of course, I'm looking at it backwards. Right there, guys, you can see you can adjust the decibels and everything else with this. Uh, you can record straight to the device, of course, as well. This is a really cool lavalier mic set that is rechargeable and can be taken in pretty much anywhere and used on any device out there. From your Android, iOS, or your PCs, they got you covered. Anchor M650 is what I would say take a look at. I love those mics. Now we're also going to show you guys some Shocks Open Fit uh, headphones. Uh, Shocks Open Fit's a really cool little uh, headset right here. So let me talk to you about the Shocks Open Fit, right? These are headphones or earbuds that have a hook. So they go behind your ear. They're not going to fall off. And they're open ear. So that way they play the sound right directly near your ear canal. So your ear still open so you can hear what's going around you. Really cool charging case, has enough charge to charge them multiple times. You just pop them out, slide them over your ear. Good to work out of the gym, good to go for runs, good for go for walks. The sound is fantastic from them. Now again, because they're open air sound, they do broadcast enough noise that if you're in a, a car, let's say you're driving or you're a passenger in a car, a passenger around you can hear some of the noise, ambient noise, because they aren't plugging the, you know, they're not plugging your ear canal and shoving the sound in your ear like to traditional earbuds. They are open ear design. So they can be heard a little more around you by others than say their phone conduction headphones, but they actually sound a, quite a bit better than the phone conduction headphones. So if you're looking for something that hooks around your ear, stays in place, you can go jogging with, you can run with, Sweat's not gonna have any issues with these. These are excellent for the gym, highly recommended. And I always like open ear headphones, whether you choose their bone conduction headphones or you choose their open air headphones like these, just an excellent option, especially if you're out on the streets, if you're basically on sidewalks, you just want to hear what's going on in your environment. So these are a really good option. These are the Shocks Open Fit, highly recommended, and they sound fantastic. So right there, guys, Shocks Open Fit right on hand. Now we're going to show you guys some, of course, some lighting. You guys did not see the video, which I feel bad about. Hey, but we can make the mistakes. Right here, some Govi lighting, hey though. Hey, everyone. The Kingdom of Dragon blogger here to show you guys something really awesome. This is the Govi Neon Rope Lights. These are RGBIC lights that are 16.4 feet long LED strips that I have customized under my little gaming desk here. I absolutely love how this app is set up. This is the Govi Home app, which you're going to need to use the app to its fullest extent. You can use it just straight out the box. It does have some really cool customizable features, but you get the full utility from the actual app itself. Uh, you know, you're able to choose so many different lighting options, which I'm going to cycle through a couple here and tell you. There is a control panel that I have installed under my desk next to the lights, which you can't see, but it's just there. So in case I don't have the app, I can just pull up some custom settings. But here you can see that there are so many different menu options that you can choose from of just preset lights. Not only that, but the list goes on and on. So here's just one set of lists. Here's another set of different 
you know, light settings that you can choose from, and, and they go on and on. There's even a DIY function that you can set up and customize on your own, and there's other color and music settings. The music setting is my favorite because it will strobe to the beat of whatever music is going on around with the ambient sound, which I think is really cool. So if you are looking for a really awesome comprehensive set, now, guys, I use Gobi lighting everywhere. As you guys see behind me, there's a whole bunch of Gobi lights set up and going off behind us from a floor lamp to, of course, others. I do have this rope light set on my PC desk as well. They're bright. They're vibrant. They're beautifully well done. Definitely recommend checking those out. You won't go wrong with Gobi. Uh, Gobi makes some really, really cool stuff. I love Gobi. Now, we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys the Share Geek. This is a nice little charging power bank. Uh, uh, this is the Storm 2. Now, the Storm 2 is a beautiful, beautiful power bank that packs quite a wallop for you guys. Now, what do I mean by quite a wallop? Well, hey, guys, this is a large, large power bank. 25,600 milliamp power bank. has two USB-C ports. Both of those USB-C ports, of course, are 100 watt style pay ports. Uh, one of those USB-C ports is an out. The other is an in and out. You also have a USB-A port. Uh, now, with this, of course, if you're using multiple ports, you're going to divide that power up. You're going to get 65 watts out of the in and out port. You're then going to get, of course, 25 watts out of the other two ports with that. Uh, so that's the way it's going to work. Now, nice, large digital screen. The, little sc the digital screen is actually interactive, can be changed around, and, of course, adjusted for you with that. Uh, it's interactive. It comes with the 100 watt charging capability cable, uh, bright yellow cable, and of course a carrying bag for you. Now with it, see-through, LifePo4 cells, so you do have the lithium cells inside this. Now these LifePo4 cells are actually a smaller version of lithium cells. Uh, these are, uh, I think, Samsung 2's uh, style of lithiums. It is fully enchapulated, can be taken apart if you need uh, with that. Guys, the screen. One button style, but does have an interactive menu and can be actually swapped around and changed with the way you hold the button. Uh, Share Geek X Arlen, uh, copyrighted guys with this, of course. Nice, nice power bank. This thing is crazy cool. If you guys want a conversation piece that's actually going to do something, this is one of those ones. Share Geek's got you covered with that one, of course. Now, we're also going to show you guys the Fantic X8 portable tire inflator. This is a cool James one. James here, and today we're taking a quick uh, look at the, the new product from Fantic, guys. This is their X8 tire inflator, which is palm size, which is really great. Now, this does have a 5,200 milliamp battery, but it does have the capacity of, I think, a 2,600 milliamp, so it's times two, which is really cool. Now, it's got a large digital scale, multi-function, guys, so literally... You could charge two car tires off one charge, and you could do four motorcycle tires or seven bicycle tires or road bikes, guys, which is really cool. Now, it does go up to 150 PSI, which is very awesome. Also, now inside here, guys, you have this the case. You have all the devices. You have one air inflator. You have one Presta valve adapter, one nozzle ball adapter, one air tube adapter, one USB cable, one storage bag, and of course the manual. Now, going between each mode, because it does do modes, right? But first, before we get into talking to the modes, let's pop it out and kind of show you guys the device itself. Now, the cool thing is, is of course it's boxed, then reboxed, right? So you have the box, then you have the new box, which just shows you the device right there, and then shows you on the side, the 2600 milliamp battery, with the, it's even got LED lights. I did not realize it had LED lights up to 150 PSI. Weighs 1.3 pounds. Multiple purpose, of course, right? Large screen and all that good stuff. But let's slide it open. You guys are getting bored of that stuff, aren't you? So we have the device itself, which is actually really nice. Now it does multiple modes. So that's a cool part. Now I'm gonna set the device aside first. And we're gonna kind of show you guys the little carrying case, which is cool. They actually give you a carrying case. I like this. Uh, if you guys don't use this carrying case, it makes a great D&D dice holder. Just saying. Then you have, of course, the user manual. If you guys need the user manual, it's here. Then you have your inflator hose. It's not extra long, guys, so just remember, because it's palm size, it's not long. Here's your American-style plug, of course, guys. And then you have your screwing on that goes onto the device itself. Then you have all the extras, and we're going to pop this open. I'm going to show you guys this, of course. 
all the extras, and then we'll get into it as we turn it on. So you have your basketball or ball inflator, which is cool to give you this. I love that they add that. USB-C to USB mini cord. Then you have your adapter, your Presta adapter. And then you have your inflator. So that's all that is. And then we're going to grab the device itself. And as you guys can see, it is super small. Let's pull the plastic off the plastic side. Very small, very easy, elegant looking. Now, multi modes, guys, anywhere from 0 to 150 psi. Not that loud, nice large screen. You have five modes, of course. You have car mode, uh, bicycle mode, motorcycle mode, basketball mode, and manual mode. Manual mode is where I use it because I like to go a little heavier than what their standard 35 pounds of pressure. Now, screw it on to, of course, to the tire. Get it up and going, and you're good to go. Tire inflators, man, this will save you a lot of time and hassle. Uh, you got a little leak out in the middle of nowhere, and you just need enough air to get to the next town. This will do that. You come out on a winter day, your tire's a little low, and you don't have time to stop and throw some change at the tire machine. Use your inflator. It's a great little thing. This is actually quite handy, especially for your kids. Uh, kids, never you never know when the kids are going to need air, and they're going to be like, hey, Dad, how do, what do you do this? Or Mom. You know, that's just one of the things. So right there from Fantech, the X8. Now we're going to show you guys the water drop K19 water cool. Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon so Blogger here to show you the water drop K19. This is a countertop reverse osmosis water dispenser. Now I've been a long time fan of water drop and all of their products. And so I was super excited to get this. This is the included water filter that comes with it. You get one free one. So, you know, you get a freebie. That's a little nice. And the rest of the process is really easy to set up. There's no installation required. All you have to do is fill this little tank in the back with water, put it back on, and then basically the machine takes care of the rest for you. And that is one thing that I absolutely love about it. I mean, the ease of water drop products is fantastic. Some of their other filters are super easy to install, and this is among the easiness of their products. Now, this is the little interface that you're going to use after the the setup initial setup of the product you're going to have to flush out that filter for use but once you get it flushed you're basically good to go the water has different temperature settings one for room temperature 113 185 and 203 degrees fahrenheit it also has volume settings where you can change it to 8 12 16 or 20 ounces and a dispenser button so this is dispensing room temperature water which i am super excited to drink now sadly it doesn't feature any cold settings but that's okay because the water that you get you know is going to be pure and it tastes absolutely amazing this is the perfect product in my my mind this is the button that you use to change the temperature as i mentioned you have from room temperature up to 203 degrees celsius and you can also change the volume settings now if you want to lock the settings in place there is a lock button in, up there at the top that you simply hold for a couple of seconds and then you're good to go not only is this just a fantastic water filtration system but it's got all sorts of interesting and awesome technology such as the feed type heating technology the four stage deep filtration and a smart design that makes it compact and easy to store easy to fit on any countertop basically and you just always have great water to drink on hand which you know hydrate or dehydrate so if you are looking for a fantastic countertop reverse osmosis system to add to your home so right there, guys, great little version, but we also have the water drop water filter pitcher dispenser as well. This is the water drop countertop electric filtration pitcher dispenser. It's a very nice deep blue, and this is the power button and dispense button, and it's very quiet pump and the off. So you see their logo is there. It's a very nice logo. The carrying handle makes it convenient to move around. You have the max fill line and the minimum fill line on the back. And there inside, it will show you the lid just comes off easily. And inside we have and you can see the filter fits right there and it's a snug fit i'll leave it there um here is the tubing and it has a screen filter at the bottom 
and you see this picture it holds 15 cups of water and this just just slides right in there so it has a carbon block filter reduces impurities to deliver refreshing water at the press of a button it has a charging cord and it has a 30-day service life for a single charge that's pretty amazing you can keep it in your refrigerator or on your counter and it would look very nice in either place or wherever you find it so with that guys you have another great little water filtration system for you now of course the water filtration system would go great with this next piece the Govi Life Smart Electric Kettle. Uh, of course, you know, getting that tea going with an electric kettle. Force be with you. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here. here to show you a, another Govi Life product. This is their electric kettle. First off, the uh, design know, of it I is very sleek. I love the black aesthetic. It matches some of the other black and silver decor that we have, some of the appliances and stuff. And it just, it looks really nice. It has a couple of buttons here that I'll show you how they function. And it's just a very simple design. All you have to do is, you know, put the kettle on here. I already got some water in there, as you can see. Close it and then go ahead and hit the on button to turn it on. It'll show you the current temperature of the water. I accidentally turned it on for a little bit um, before I started recording. And so it's, it's a little hot already, but it took absolutely no time to get to this 130 degrees. Now this is the temperature that's going to be set at 212 degrees Fahrenheit is going to be the boiling point. And as you can see, it already started. I didn't even hit a button. You can hear the sound of it. Um, but you can also use the plus minus to adjust the point that which you want to get it to 212 is the max you also have boiling points that you can set it to or not boiling points different modes that you can set it to so mode one is going to be the boiling point mode two is going to be just a little bit lower and it goes in different steps and it has four different settings and then of course um, it's just going to right now it's on keep warm um, and so it's just a, a really nice uh, kettle overall to have it gets gets the stuff hot really quick and that's the one thing that I love about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here. And as you can see, um, it makes a little bit of sound. It almost sounds like a fan kind of when it's heating up, but it heats up in absolutely no time. I mean, we were already, this video is not even a minute 30 seconds long and you can already see the temperature is just skyrocketing and it, it takes absolutely no time to boil water. So if you're looking for a fantastic electric kettle to have, this Govi Life one is absolutely fantastic. There, Govi guys, Govi, Govi, Govi. Now we're going to move over to something that I actually have been eating quite a bit of, and this is from Shameless Snacks. Now, Shameless Snacks makes a three-pack kit. Uh, we're showing you guys that three-pack kit in the carousel, but I actually have the multi-variation kit, of course, on hand. Uh, but the three-pack kit's actually a really cool piece. You get three boxes, of course. Uh, you're going to get Soberry Cherry. You're going to get Wonder Luscious uh, Whales, and you're also going to get Chili Mango Fire. Now... I have the multi-flavored pack. It's going to come in a box like this. Inside here, you're going to have uh, your gummies, and they're going to come in little bags like this for you. Now, the multi-kit, of course, has the multi-style um, with the different stuff with it. Now, I got sour apple left, I think green apple, I got raspberry, and I got uh, super sour blue on here. Now, these are, of course, vegan-free. Uh, these are uh, vegan, uh, ex uh, vegan acceptable, keto-free, uh, keto-friendly, uh, keto gluten-free, and of course, uh, all natural flavors. Now, these things are really, really amazing. Uh, you're going to get multi-styles. The green ones, of course, I'm showing you guys the green apple. It's going to look like a little apple, of course. It is shaped like an apple. But I'm going to tell you, it just tastes phenomenal. Mmm. Like when you open one, you can't just eat one. You have to have multiple. Each one is a different shape. Each one will look like its own thing. So now the blue little raspberry, of course, is going to look like a, a little gummy bear. Mm. And of course, the red one looks like a gummy bear as well. Then you have the apples and stuff, but these guys, if you want some really, really good snacks, Shameless Snacks has got you covered, guys, with these phenomenal, phenomenal tasting products. I love them. 
I had two boxes of these. This is what's left. Uh, Shameless Snacks, if you're watching, I can use some more. Those are great. Oh. Mmm. I need to take a sip of water because I'm talking. I can't keep having food in my mouth. All right. Guys, I definitely recommend Shalem Snacks. So, so good. Now, next up, of course, is the V Top Mark Guys kit. The V Top Mark encapsulated kit is, of course, 24 pieces. It has lids. Now, I'm showing you guys just the small version. All of the lids are interchangeable. You have four sizes. You have a large, you have an extra large, you have a medium, and you have a small. This, of course, is the medium right here. 24 pieces, 24 labels. The labels are chalk, of course, related. The lid, of course, does have a gasket that is watertight and a nice locking mechanism that just literally locks that easy. Uh, it's that simple, that easy with this. These are really good and handy for, of course, organizing stuff like uh, these Airbon drinks, fizzy drinks from Airbon. Uh, but you guys can definitely uh, organize whatever you want with these. I We use them for literally our pastas. We use them for our sugars. I actually use them for my barbecue seasonings that I mix up myself. But VTOP Mart does a really good job. And I've actually had liquids in these and froze them in the freezer. This is going to do well for you. VTOP Mart does a really good job. These are actually have a $3 clip of a coupon. Uh, it's like 32% off. These are worth the money. Uh, Multi-pieces, of course, guys. You don't have to worry about it. The lid's nice and tight. I don't have an issue with this. This is a really great piece. If you guys need VTOP Mart, definitely check that out. Or Shameless Snacks. Uh, both of those are great little options for you. I love both of those. Now, of course, we also got we also have the Paw Wee uh, cat feeder. I'm gonna grab that right here. Let the cat feeder video play while I put. James, James, we're taking a look at the Paw Wee automatic cat feeder. Now, this is the Care My series. Uh, of course, inside this box is the cat feeder. Uh, well, pet feeder, cat feeder, whatever you guys want to feed. Uh, of course, I already pulled some of the stuff out of the box. We're going to start showing you guys some of the stuff. First and foremost, you're going to get in this kit, of course, is the power cable. It's a standard power cable that's going to plug into your wall plug right there. You will need that. It's also going to come with, of course, the deodorizer if you guys want. I'm not opening this, uh, but you can add the deodorizer to silicone gel to the top of the lid. Now, you also get, of course, a stainless steel uh, three liter uh, bowl right here, guys, which are a nice little food bowl. This is, uh, of course, uh, washable, so you guys can clean it out and wash it with that. Now, you're also going to get, of course, the lid. The lid right here is lockable, so it does have these two little prongs that will lock it in place. Now, if you want to add that deodorizer, guys, right here on the top of the lid is where you're going to put that. You'll pop that open, set that silicone pad there, and you'll lock it back in place, and you're good to go. Now, you're also going to get, of course, the hopper. You guys can't see the video. The Why base. not? The base is what you're going to have to put together. You All right, guys, course. hold on a second. I'm having an issue with my software. It's not going to change scenes. It's updating. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, that power is button my and bad. The sensor, there was an update uh, with that as well. You'll set this just right there, guys, and it will latch in, of course, into place that one. for you in the bottom. Now, you're going to have to take, of course, the hopper. Now, this is, of course, your hopper. Uh, this is a nice large uh, hopper, of course. It's going to fit a lot of kibble or a lot of little cat food in there. Uh, inside there, you guys will see the spinning piece. You'll also see, of course, the locking and closing mechanism of this device. Now, you are going to have to implement this into, of course, the feeder device itself. And inside, guys, you can see where you're going to line that up. It's actually going to be a lot more simpler than you think. So you're going to line that side up with, of course, that side. And you'll literally slide it into place just like that. It's going to go in. Then you're going to flip it around back. And you're going to latch it locked on. Now, it will not come off. Now, then you're going to reverse, of course, the process. You add that front feeder bowl. You're going to grab the lid. Now, of course, the lid is going to sit on there. And you're going to pop, of course, the two latches. And it's going to lock in place. Now, this is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, so you can actually connect it up to the app. The app's going to give you guys low feed, uh, low feed uh, notifications if you want. It's going to tell you guys when your food is getting low. It's going to tell you your eating habits of the animals, your feeding schedules as well. You're going to be able to do dry food, freeze-dried food, or even mixed dry food with freeze-dried food inside. 
inside this. Now it is a dual power source. So if you don't want to use that guys, on the bottom is a battery tray. So you can actually pop this open and add of course some D sized batteries to power it up that way instead. So you don't have to have a cable. That means you can take it on the go in the RV or camping or something if you want to do that. Now with it of course, very simple to use, five stage system to put together guys, five different seals and different locking mechanisms. Keep that food nice and dry and nice and safe for your animals. So if you guys need an automatic feeder, paw has got you covered with this one guys right here. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. With that, guys, that is a great little cat feeder or animal feeder that you guys can use pretty much with it. Now, we're going to move over to the U Like laser hair removal tool that I actually did as well. We're going to let the video James here, and today we're taking a look at this very cool hair removal tool. And this is from U Like. This is their IPL laser hair removal tool. Now, this works with, of course, lighting. Now, this also does have a cooling effect uh, with their sapphire cooling technology. Inside this case, you're going to be greeted with a couple things. First and foremost, is a razor. Yes, you do have to shave for the first time before use. It also comes with these foldable glasses that will fold out so you can put them on while you're using the treatment. It is a laser. It's pretty important to protect your eyes. Now, the way this works, of course, and once you're inside here, you'll be greeted with, of course, this very cool uh, package that comes open, and then you'll be greeted with this nice little gray case. Inside the gray case is the laser. And the way Sorry about it the guys works had a fit. is it where targets that the from. light, and the light targets the follicles or the follicles of your hairs and will actually target the melanin inside that hair to result in less hair growth over time. Now, it's going to take you, of course, multiple times to do this. You're going to notice in about three weeks, you'll notice a, 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 a re de decrease in hair growth. I will take, of course, over a month to get rid of it altogether, but you will need to keep doing treatments. You pop this open. You'll be greeted with the hair removal tool. We'll get back to that in a second. You'll also be greeted with the power brick, and it does have a power brick. You do have to plug it in. Uh, it also has another side to that power brick to plug it into your wall, of course, on hand. With that, you'll just literally plug this in just like this, plug this into the wall, and then you'll plug this side into the hair removal tool. The hair removal tool, of course, is just like this. Nice little purple coloration and variation. Has, of course, the targeted uh, piece right here to press and target. But it also has on this opposite side, the mode button. That mode button will let you switch between modes. And now the cool part is, is this will work at about 67 degrees Fahrenheit uh, as where the other ones run a little hotter with that. So it does run cool with this. And that's actually kind of cool with that. Now you're going to target the area for about 30 minutes or so in between back and forth while using this. And it will should be painless. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a power station. We're going to show you guys this plugged in and using this. So give me a second. Let me grab something to plug this into. Okay, now that I have it plugged in, like I said, guys, you're going to use, of course, the included razor or your razor of your choice. You're going to find an area and we're just going to grab this area. And you guys can see the hair here. And I'm going to actually shave this area. And I'm going to do it over on the floor because I'm over my computer. And then we're going to pop that off. And you guys can see that there is, of course, a cleaned up area right there. Now, I am now going to grab, of course, the glasses because I don't want to stare at this laser uh, on hand. And we're going to grab that. We're also going to grab this piece. We're going to grab the plug. And the plug is, of course, powered on. So once we're on there, if I hit the mode button, it will actually power on. And you'll start seeing that it's going to start activating. But if I hit power mode again with that. Now, I will literally just touch this to the skin. And it should start working by just lasers. You see that flash on hand, just like that, of course, as you go. Now, that is all there is to Now, guys, it's going to take multiple weeks before you start noticing a big change. But then you guys will have a lot of less hair growth as you go. Cool piece. But if you guys like to cut your hair, well, maybe you like to use some scissors. Right here, James, we have an option for you. Look at these very cool barber cutting shears now this is for cutting your hair of course uh these are from ulg now these are a six and a half inch uh style inside this box now you're going to have a six and a half inch full design but it's going to have approximately three inch cutting surface now here of course is your shears uh this is of course your three inch cutting surface from right here to here you're going to have a max of six and a half inches. Now you guys see that nice little blue inlet ring. That's going to help you guys keep your hands very stable. Now you can <laughs> no, see I don't fit my fingers. Very no, well. I don't. You nice I definitely do not look like very strong Cruise. stability uh, piece. Now they are, of course, uh, polished very, very nicely. And it does have a muffler inside here. Now that muffler is actually this piece right here. 
which is going to stop it from making... Now, those little blue fantastic. rings inside those scissors actually can be pulled out if you have bigger fingers, which is also very cool. Now, these can be used left or right-handed. Uh, they are actually ambidextrous, kind of, to a point. Uh, they are not meant to, you know, right or left-handed with this pair, which is cool. Uh, but great little hair clipper set, guys. The ULG Professional Hair Clippers might be a great option for you. Six and a half inches max uh, from tip to tip uh, for you. Now, we're also going to show you guys the Bessie Black Waterfall Spout Faucet, which is actually the first I wish I one is kept. from Bessie. This, this is thing's cool. Brass Black Waterfall Spout Faucet, guys. I really want to put this in my bathroom, and I think I'm going to because I should be able to connect this. Now, this is black in color, but it is by Bessie, guys. It's a brass faucet uh, fixture, and you guys are going to see this. This thing's great. Now, a couple <laughs> cool things is they do give you the little plate, guys. This plate is cool. It does have the gasket, so if you have the style of uh, faucet that has the double handles coming up, this bracket will block that, so you don't have to worry about those extra little holes showing. They do have the bracket. That's cool little piece to have in there and have that option. Now, they do have the little instruction manual. If you guys need this, this will tell you how to do it and how to set it up. Now, you also have your pipe fixture. This is what's going to go under the sink and screw up to the top of the sink to hey, connect Chuck, it. How you doing, guys, buddy? Right? What's up, my friend? I'm going to show you guys what's some more up? things. You do have your hot and cold uh, pipe fixtures right here. So you do have your pop pipes, hot and cold. You do have your compressed fittings. You will need these compressed fittings, guys, to connect it. You do have some plumber's tape. Make sure you use the plumber's tape so you do not have any leaks. Now, I'm going to pop this back over. I'm going to show you guys this. This thing is gorgeous. I really like this. Let's show you guys this. This is your actual faucet. This thing is just Gorgeous. Now I should have just right installed and left this in hot and cold up and down Man, is now the I want amount it back. of water coming out. Then you have this nice little uh, nozzle where it, almost like a rainfall or uh, a, a stream coming out, guys. But look waterfall, at that. guys. Waterfall. That over. thing is so so nice. Now you have your dual hoses. That's where your compressed fittings will fit on with those connections to connect it down below. Then you have your fitting right here, and I'll kind of show you guys this with this fitting. This is where you'll actually pull it through, guys, and start screwing it up until it's tight and connected. Once you have it... Now let's go here, guys. This is like a f under $40, $36.99. This is a really crazy cheap price for a faucet of this quality. Uh, they also had the big rainfall style uh, shower head and, of course, uh, other pieces. This is beautiful. It does come in other coloration. So if you guys don't want the black, uh, they do offer other variations. Now we're going to move over to the Sure Blue, uh, sure Blue Hanging Closet Storage Organizer. That's this Sheila is the Sure sure Blue Hanging Storage nope, not Bag. Sheila. <laughs> it's, it's made from water-resistant oxford bad. cloth, which makes it lightweight. And it has firm stitches. It's strong and durable. And the zippers are high quality to ensure its longevity. Being that it is waterproof and has mesh material, it definitely has good air permeability, which is excellent for deodorizing and preventing moisture from being absorbed. I love how easily this storage container collapses. It makes it more portable, as well as it does have stainless steel hooks on it, so when you get to your location, you can easily hang it in the closet or bathroom. The large size has a lot of room, as well as having three tiers makes it very versatile in how you use it and where you take it. Overall, I love that it has a strong hook, it's easy to fold, it has a practical buckle so you can compress space and fit it more easily in your storage, as well as a double zipper so that way you can add additional items in there to make it more functional. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. So if you guys need something like that, right there is an option. Hey. <laughs> Ah, no. Cut it all. Cut it all. Uh, we're going to show you guys the Lola Rose watch. This company here. sent us two of these. It does come with the little pamphlet.
you know, it's made by a UK designer, and then also the um, it's made it's of like good materials. Yeah, right like now. this is pure malachite. So that's just so nice. Look at that. Let's see. I love it. it. Has a genuine leather watch band. They say that these watches are good to three atmospheres. So, um, my wife and kid are both beauticians. They've uh, uh, both have degrees and uh, certificates for uh, beauty and hair salon. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, accidental splashing and stuff, but you don't want to go um, swimming in. But nice little booklet. It tells you all about it. Really nice quality. Genuine silver. And then it says on that side, made in London. So yeah, you get the little pillow and you get this nice presentation box with the drawer. Really cute little watch. So right there, that is the Lola Rose Malachite Genuine Leather Band watch that's gonna do nice little things for a lot of you if you guys need something like that. Now, I'm gonna circle back around. Uh, we do have a few other products in here uh, like the Winoker Silent Belt Stationary Bike. Uh, guys, that's just an indoor cycling bike which is actually really cool. Uh, it's a nice little piece. Uh, decently priced, of course, as well. I'm not going to really show that one tonight. I'm just going to talk about it. Uh, the Wienoker, guys, is a great little indoor cycle. Uh, if you guys need an indoor cycle to do your exercising, Wienoker's got you covered with that one. Uh, it's like $80 clippable coupon tonight, so it brings it down to a good price point. Uh, it's, a, of course, a belt-driven style magnetic-resistant uh, piece that does, of course, do 10%, uh, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and 100% adjustability with that on hand. Now, the belt-driven uh, magnetic resistance actually does well for a lot of people. Uh, it's a nice little speed. Now, it's an A-type designed for more durability with a structure, our I-beam structure, which is actually kind of cool. So that's going to do well for you. And you guys can have, uh, of course, connected up an app uh, and other things with that if you really need. So you can actually pair it up and run the app as well. Now, we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys, of course, the Vinsquare ab roller that Nate did. Hey, with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment right. back with another product from Vinsquare. We're going to be taking a look at their ab roller. I'm not really sure where they got a photo of me, but I guess it's pretty cool for them to kind of give me a shout out on the box. So what we're going to do is just open this up and take a look at it. So if you guys are looking to start a fitness journey, something like this from Vinsquare might be what you want to look at into getting so let's go ahead and just see everything that comes with it so first of all we are going to have our handles right there soft touch material now we'll go ahead and roll on it through the video and just see everything that comes with it you're going to have one of your extension poles right here you are going to have on the inside um, some mat right there i'm not really sure exactly what that's going to do quite yet but we'll figure that out and we'll just go ahead and <laughs> the rest of the box by doing one of these numbers right here so let's go ahead and see everything I'm one that percent. comes with it. One percent. Right, so that's going to be it inside of the box. Now let's see if we can get this thing built and uh, see how well it works. So it looks pretty straightforward so far. It looks like really all we're going to have to end up doing is really just installing this bar through here and then attaching it to the handles. So let's go ahead and try that out real quick. So it looks like the bar is going to go straight through. And then the handles are just going to slide onto this just like that. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming what's going to happen is you are going to roll on this or roll it across your abs. To be honest with you, I'm really not sure how this is going to work. So stay tuned for another video uh, where I show you how I got those abs that are on the... Guys, great little piece right there. If you're looking for an ab roller, that might be a great option. Now, we're also going to show you guys the Tisk Care Shiatsu Foot Massager. I'm pretty sure this is a Nikita video. Again, of course, be with you, Nikita, with Dragon right here. Blogger here to show you guys the Tisk Care massager. Now, this is a Shiatsu massager, but what I love about it is that it's very uh, versatile. You can use it on your calves, which is what I typically use mine for because I have a lot of lactic acid build up in my calves sometimes, and um, you know, it just kind of helps work it out. Um, and that's what I like it about out. it. But uh, it's adjustable. You just have to hit these, and you can kind of slide it where you want it to, and use it on your feet. It's really easy to to move. You could also put it on a table and do your arms too. It will fit your arms, and it's good for that purpose. Um, you have the um, control on the front. Oops. Um, 
but it's really hard to do it when it's in that vertical mode that I was using for my calves. So it's nice that it comes with like a little remote here too that you can just use. It has the same functionality. So I can like turn it on. Um, I can change the speed. And then I can also change the time that it'll go. I can add or take away the heating. I can also reverse the direction. You'll see it change directions on my feet here. Um, and then it also has auto presets that you can set P1, P2, P3, and then manual mode. And you know, I always like the presets. The presets get it done. Um, I like to I like the having the option to customize. Sometimes I feel like with all these options like that this Tiscare has, it's hard to like think about what you want. So it's nice sometimes where I can just turn off my brain, come and use it, and it's really easy. And you know, I just I just press a button and leave it alone, turn the heating on or off, and it's just it's really cool. It's really comfortable. It feels really good. Be sure to check your intensity levels. Now you can kind of see here how it's like going over the, the the platform of my foot like the top part and um you do have to be careful about intensity because it is around you and you can feel the different types of massage heads going on under my feet so you don't want to put too much pressure where it's uncomfortable in so his sure fruit of the looms this thing works magic i absolutely love it for my feet i, I use it mostly on my calves i'm just you showing you my feet for now guys you can use it on your calves your arms or of course your feet it's up to you with that one uh, really cool little piece right there, of course, from Tiscare. And we're going to show you guys the Rest Cloud uh, Adjustable Lumbar Support Pillow as Phil, of course, is spamming uh, chat down there. Just, Rest you know, Cloud does Phil. it again What's with up, an absolutely buddy? amazing adjustable lumbar support pillow. This thing is absolutely fantastic. It's definitely it Friday. It's soft and comfortable I agree. to touch. I absolutely love this thing. So let me tell you some. Cool Technically, I'm still on vacation. What's really cool about it is that the material is bamboo memory foam. I'm on vacation, but I'm here. Absolutely amazing for getting, you know, contoured and shaped to the size of your body or the shape of your body, and it just makes it absolutely amazing. The fabric is made of like a, a health, <laughs> skin friendly fabric um, that's just really comfortable and really soft, too. Honestly, it's, the, the one thing that I love about this pillow more than anything is just how soft and how squishy what? and nice it is. Um, oh, now, you're getting rid of the Jeep? It, let it be explained that the pillowcase itself is washable, but the memory foam pad inside you trading is not. In your beater, and buddy. luckily, they include a little zipper here that you can use to just simply unzip and pull the memory foam out and then go ahead. Oh, I figured you were keeping the Jeep. I was just messing you don't with you. Wash, wash I figured you were getting rid of your, uh, of your daily truck. It up. Now, what's really cool is basically how this works is it, it uh, the lumbar support fills in the yeah. gap when you lay on the side of your back. Tired of the sleeping. rust, aren't you? Um, it cradles the low back. It provides enough comfort the to rust sleep and also comfortably. <laughs> um, I've also been kind of playing with this thing, too. I figured. Um, and sometimes I use it what in What happens my with the square body, desk, buddy? Uh, chair, what happens with the square um, body? Help because it also feels really good on the lower back, and it, it does provide enough comfort. So there's more than just uses in the bed with this amazing pillow. So like I said... Right there, guys, you have, of course, the rest cloud. Now we're going to show you guys, I believe, the Snail X massager that hey, I did. Taking a quick look at a new right product, here. guys. This is from Snail X. This just is going to do this. We're going to bounce forward. We're going to jump forward. We don't need a five-minute video showing you guys this. It can be plugged in your car or plugged in in the house with the power brick. You're going to have multi-modes and heating adjustment with this device. You also have this cleaning cloth. This cloth is recleanable and can be removed and put on separately. Really cool little piece. Now, leather designed or leatherette design has, of course, your mode button, your power button, and, of course, your heating level. Your mode, it's just forward and reverse. Let's go there, right? Heating, on and off. It's that simple. Plug it in, and your tension is going to come from putting your arms in the holes and pushing down to get that tension in the massage. It has nodular balls on both sides that are going to rotate around your neck just like this. Now, you definitely can use this on your lower back, your stomach, your calves, or wherever you guys really want. You're just going to have to put a little tension. It lights up red to show you guys the heating. It also shows you guys which direction those balls are rotating. Right there, I changed direction or slash mode for that. That simple, that easy. This is a really cool one that works out well for you. Uh, just a simple little piece, guys. Of course, right there from Snellex. Hydrocortisone. Uh, sure. Sure. Um, my oh, name is Mitch today. As you guys can see right here, we are going to be talking about this awesome turtleneck shirt right here. So this shirt is going to be my made by Koo Fandy right here. So as you guys can see already, 
It is an awesome material right here. It is super, super soft. And it does fit true to size, as you guys can see right here, all the way around. It is, and as you guys can see right here, it does has a, is knitted right here, so it's twisted all the way down. So it's a cool pattern as hey, well. Hey, Phil. And on this one. I'm going to be messing with some G-Skills uh, DDR5 see? soon. And it's super, super comfortable, and it's really good for your skin as well. It's not going to be one of those I have uh, so much sweaters product that, sitting here you know, my irritates vacation. your skin, whatever. It feels super, super good. And I, I, as you guys can see, you can wear, you know, you can wear jewelry with this, make it look cool. You can also throw on a vest if you want to as well. If you're looking for a casual look, a date night, whatever you want to do, you can throw on a vest just like that. And as you guys can see, I mean, I'm already running right DDR5, here. but again, I'm also, with the if you G haven't skills. worn a turtleneck, uh, 6400 megahertz, you want to know, like, if it's gonna uh, 64 your neck, gigabyte this one kit, right here, dual 32 sticks. So as you guys can see right here, uh, you latent, do have to you know, fold this up. Unless it's going to stretch all the way up. You can honestly wear it as a mask too. If you're going to go skiing, you can wear it as a mask too. <laughs> yep, RGB. So right here, you can fold it down just like that. So again. Yeah, so I'm gonna, it's going to be two sticks. I would prefer four because, well, you know, I don't like the gap with my RGB. Uh, but it's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I'm on a mic. Yep, I'm definitely sitting here chatting, buddy. Uh, I'm talking to some, uh, multiple people. Multiple streams. Uh, so we also have the bed shirt wearable hoodie up next right here. We don't need the hey, sound up, guys? this one. Guys, this is a cool little piece right here from bed shirt. Uh, if you ever wanted a Sherpa style hoodie, uh, wearable blanket, this is the one. Super soft, super uh, luxurious. These things are really cool. A uh, bunch of us on the team have these and wear these. Now, I'm the only one on the team that does not have the wearable hoodie or wearable blanket, but I actually have the gray blanket of this that's not wearable. Does have, of course, large pockets, comes in multiple sizes. You have uh, small, grade schooler, oversized, or standard. You then have solid printed or zippered patterns. Uh, the printed's gonna be more for the kids. You got like a dinosaur print uh, for that. Now, with, of course, the zippered version, you can unzip it and zip it back up. With the solid colors, you're going to get, of course, black, navy, burgundies, greens, pinks, and the other colors. Uh, you're going to see right there uh, that Nate did not de-wrinkle his. He literally pulled it out of the box and started showing you guys the product. Uh, that's just what Nate does, of course, on hand. So if you guys need a wearable blanket, Bed sure has got you covered with that. Now, we're going to swap back because I want to show you guys this product one more time because I do have it on hand. Uh, we'll actually probably show you guys both of these products again uh, to give it a little more uh, show time, but you guys will probably like these. We're going to start with, of course, the uh, little moon piece. This is a, really cool. This is from uh, Log Rotate. Uh, you have two variations. I actually have two of these here. I'm going to show you guys. This, of course, is the wood stand that it sits on, and this is the moon. Uh, just a nice little orbed ball. This little orb ball does light up and can be pretty much any color that you want. Uh, you can brighten it if you want to and, of course, change colorations or add, of course, a pattern. If you guys wanted to go with the pattern, we can definitely do patterns. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, nice little decoration. This is going to work good for, of course, the kids' rooms uh, or whatever you really want with that. Now, the cool part about this is, guys, they do make larger ones. This is like a four and a half inch ball. They do make a six inch version. They also make this version as well. Uh, different colors and patterns with these. This is more like an earth pattern or solar system style pattern. This is literally just the moon. Now, when I turn these off, I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Let's shut this off real quick. Uh, let's turn it off. And you guys can kind of see like the pattern of the moon that's on there. You guys can see the little hills and everything on that, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, of course, if I shut the other one off, you guys are going to see, of course, this is just more like a star galaxy pattern on it. These are really cool. I kind of like these. They are actually very bright and vibrant with these. Uh, they do well. They are a nice little uh, conversation piece. Definitely great for the kids or even the offices or whatever you guys want to decorate. So. Right here, guys, low, log rotate moon lamps. Uh, 16 color modes, of course, 3D printer style, and wood stands, of course, on hand. Uh, kind of cool little pieces. I kind of like those. 
Uh, or if you guys need a Bluetooth soundbar for your TV or music, uh, we have an option right here from Elscon. This is the EC17. Uh, this is another really cool one. I'll pop this over. Going to grab the next piece. Let's grab the soundbar. It'll light up. This is, of course, the soundbar. A short little soundbar that's got, of course, a nice little piece. But when I power it up, Bluetooth you can see some bolts. It goes into Bluetooth mode instantly. And if I hit that button, you have LED lighting on that front. Look how bright that lighting is on this Bluetooth soundbar. Uh, really cool little piece. Now we can change the patterns, of course, to where it's just going to rotate through, of course, regular standard colors. Or if I pop it in, you got more of a rainbow effect with that as well. And if I pop it in again, it's going to go into like the kit car where it's going to change patterns. Uh, you have multiple styles of coloring with this. The lighting effects on the soundbar is actually really, really decent. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you is you can use a micro SD card on this to play music. Or you can use a USB-C connectability. The USB-C is also going to be your power cable to charge this device. It is wireless. You don't have to have a connection. I do recommend the connection to have it permanently wired, but that is up to you guys. The sound quality on this is actually quite decent and very well done. This is a really, really cool piece. I love this soundbar, and I just like it because, well, hey, that lighting looks really very bright and vibrant. Now, you guys are noticing this. This is actually just a beautiful little piece. So Elscon EC17, great little option. When you're done, hit that power button, shut it off. You're good to go. Uh, yeah, the Night Rider, definitely. Uh, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Nice little stream. Sponsored very cool products uh, on hand that I showed you. Had some fun, but remember, I'm on vacation. So, hey, that's just the way it is. I will tell you guys, though, I will be back tomorrow night with the Jackery stream. So you guys will see me tomorrow night for Jackery. Um, I may pop in a TikTok stream at some point. Maybe I'll do it up in Mount Washington tomorrow because I'm going up to Mount Washington. Uh, some of you may know what Mount Washington is or may not. Uh, but I'm going to go up to the snow-covered mountains. Uh, maybe I'll pop up some streams up there. Maybe I'll do a live stream or something. That was safe. Good. It's like a 40-minute drive for me. <laughs> it's a short drive for me. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so we have it. We're good. We're going to have some fun and all that stuff. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Thor, Phil, uh, Mike. Uh, who else was here? Uh, Chucky, I believe, was here as well. Darth Wing. You guys rock. Thanks for popping in and hanging out with me. Um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow night for Jackery, of course, with that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday evening. I'm jumping off here because I want to go watch Gold Rush. Just saying. Have a good night, everybody. Later.